Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on deriving K sub B from K sub A. K sub A is the acid dissociation constant. How easy is it for a, for a hydrogen proton to break off of an acid? So if it completely breaks apart, then it's a strong acid. If it only partially breaks apart, so some molecules break apart, others don't, it's a weak acid. Likewise, the um, K sub B is called the base protonation constant. And what that means is how easy is it for water to break apart as an acid and take that proton to itself. The base receives that proton. So water breaks apart. So H2O becomes OH minus plus a positive H. And then that hydrogen ion joins with the base. How easy is that to do? If you have a large case of B, then it's going to happen all the time completely, and you would have a very strong base. If you have a very small case of B, then that means that it's not going to happen very much, and most of the stuff you're going to have in the water is the base. It's not going to break apart. You're not going to have um, protons at all. So they are very related to each other. In fact, they're essentially the same thing, one talking about acids, one talking about bases. What you need today is that their product will always equal the ion product of water, and that's K sub W. And K sub W is how easily does water break apart into, into um, OHs and positive Hs. That number, K sub W, since water never changes, is a number that you can simply look up in a table. It's always the same. Water's K sub W will always be 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 14. So if you know K sub A, and you always know what K sub W, just divide K sub A into K sub W, and you'll get K sub B. Uh, likewise, if you have K sub B, divide it into 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 14, and you'll have your K sub A. So they're related, and that's why that this is an easy, easy lesson. The other thing for to do this problem is you have to know that an acid is going to have a hydrogen and that the conjugate base is whatever is left over when that H plus goes away. So in the case here of HCN, this is neutral, but when I steal a positive H, what's left over? Well, it's going to be the CN, but it's going to be a negative CN. So this is going to be a CN negative, and it has to be negative because I stole a positive H from a neutral molecule leaving a negative in in place. So how do I find K sub B again? I'm going to put 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 14 in the calculator and divide by what they gave me, 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10. And my what I get is 2.06122449 times 10 to the negative fifth. Well, what do I write down? This is, this is two significant digits. That means this has to be two significant digits. And since two significant digits is the 2.0, go to the 6, it makes the 0 go to a 1. That means this is going to be 2.1 times 10 to the minus 5. And that's how you do it. You're just going to continue doing it. So in the second example, they give us uh, hypochlorite, the ClO negative 1. Well, that's the base. What's the acid? The acid is going to be look exactly like the base with an H in front. It's H is positive H, so that's going to take care of that negative and make it neutral. And so you're going to have HClO, and it's neutral. That's hypo, uh, hypochlorite. I think that's what bleach is, sodium hypo hypochlorite. So that's the acid, and then the ClO negative would be the base. How do I find K sub A? I'm going to do the very same thing. I'm going to put 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 14 in the calculator and divide by 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative 7. I get 3.060606 forever uh, times 10 to the negative 8. And so I have to round to two significant digits because I have 3.3. .3. Okay, so that means that this one is going to be 
3.1 times 10 to the minus 8th. And the last one, I've got NH3, that's ammonia. Well, what do I do when I add an H? Well, it's definitely going to be an NH4, but I, it can't just be an H4 because the H is not neutral. The H is positive. So that means that I have to add the positive. Since it was already neutral, I have to add the positive. That's ammonium, the ammonium ion, which is an, which is an acid. So how do I find the case of A? A given case of B, 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 14. That's the case of W. That's the ion product of water divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, and I get 5.611111 times 10 to the minus 10th. So I need two significant digits, because I have two significant digits here. So I have to have 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. So simple, simple. I think you can get this in a minute.